Om Namah Shivaya students. Let's begin with the chapter by O. Henry, The Last Leaf. So let's see what is the setting of this short story. Setting means what is the environment? What is the surrounding? From where the story begins? It is autumn. The wind is blowing hard and it is raining heavily. All the leaves on an ivy creeper have fallen except one. So what is our surrounding or environment is telling it's the month of autumn and the wind is blowing very hard and it's also raining very heavily. There's a creeper, ivy creeper plant where all the leaves have fallen and we'll see in the story that it is falling on a purpose where our main character is connecting herself with these falling leaves except for one from where we derive the name of the story as the last leaf. So let's start. Sue and John C. two young artists shared a small flat. The flat was on the third story of an old house. John C. fell very seriously ill in November. She had pneumonia. She would die in her bed without moving, just gazing out of the window. Sue her friend became very worried. She sent for the doctor. Although he came every day, there was no change in Johnsey's condition. Two girls by the names of Sue and Johnsey lived together in a small flat. They were artists. The flat was on the third floor of an old house. And in the month of November, Johnsey, one of the two girls, was stuck by pneumonia. She remained in bed and would look out of the window. So her friend and flatmate was quite worried about John C. and called the doctor. The doctor visited them daily but there was no improvement in John C.'s health condition. One day, the doctor took Sue aside and asked her, Is anything worrying John C.? No, replied Sue. But why do you ask? The doctor said, John C., it seems, has made up her mind, John C., it seems, has made up her mind that she is not going to get well. If she doesn't want to live, medicines will not help her. The doctor, one day, secretly asked Sue if something was the matter with John C. To which Sue replied that there was nothing to be worried and asked why the doctor asked Sue. The doctor said that it seemed that John C. had decided not to live and did not want to recover from the illness. In such a case, medicines do not work. Sue tried her best to make John C. take an interest in things around her. She talked about clothes and fashions, but John C. did not respond. John C. continued to lie still on her bed. Sue so brought her drawing board into John C.'s room and started painting. To take John C.'s mind off her illness, she whistled her whistled while working. Sue so tried to live up John C. She discussed interesting things like clothes and fashion with her, but John C. remained unaffected. She lay in her bed. Sue. So sat beside her and started painting in order to create interest in her and take her mind off her illness. So would whistle at times to brighten up John C. Suddenly, Sue heard John C. whispering something. She quickly rushed to the bed and heard John C. counting backwards. She was looking out of the window and was saying 12. After some time, she whispered 11, then 10, then 9, 8, 7. Sue anxiously looked out of the window. She saw an ivy, old ivy creeper climbing halfway up the brick wall opposite their window. In the strong wind outside, the creeper was sh shedding its leaves. Sue heard that John C. was speaking softly. John C. was making a backward counting while looking out of the window. Sue was quite curious and looked outside. 
she saw an ivy creeper plant beside the window of their room. As strong winds were blowing, the leaves of the creeper were falling. What is it, dear? Sue asked. Six, whispered Johnsy. They are falling faster now. Three days ago, there were almost a hundred leaves. There are only five left now. It is autumn, said Sue, and the leaves will fall. Sue asked her what the matter was. Johnsy said, six. Then she said that the leaves were falling faster. She added that three days ago, there were a lot of leaves on the ivy creeper, almost a hundred, but now only five were left. Sue replied that it was autumn season and it was very obvious for the creeper to shed its leaves. When the last leaf falls, I will die, said Johnsy with finality. I have known this for the last three days. Johnsy said that she would die when the last leaf fell. She added that she had known this for the last three days. Oh, that's nonsense, replied Sue. What have old ivy leaves to do with your getting well? The doctor is confident that you will get better. Sue so replied that this did not make any sense. The leaves had nothing to do with her Ill illness or health. The doctor was very sure that she would recover. Johnson did not say anything. Sue so went and brought her a bowl of soup. I don't want any soup, said Johnson. I am not hang hungry. Now there are only four leaves left. I want to see the last one fall before it gets dark. Then I will sleep forever. Johnsy did not say anything and remained quiet. Sue got a bowl of soup for Johnsy. Johnsy did not accept the bowl of soup. She was not hungry. She said that there are only four leaves left on the ivy plant then. She wanted to see the last leaf fall before sunset and then she would die peacefully. Sue sat on Johnson's bed, bed, kissed her and said, You are not going to die. I can't draw the curtain for I need the light. I want to finish the painting and get some money for us. Please, my dear. Friend, she begged Johnson. Promise not to look out of the window while I paint. So tried to show affection towards Johnsy. She said that Johnsy would not die. She kept the curtain open because she needed the light to complete the painting. She would sell it to fetch money for them. So requested Johnsy not to look out of the window. All right, said Johnsy. Finish your painting. Soon for I want to see the last leaf fall. I'm tired of waiting. I have to die. So let me go away peacefully like the one like one of those poor tired leaves. Johnsy agreed and asked Sue to finish the painting so that she could be in time to see the last leaf fall, fall off the ivy plant. She was tired of waiting to see it fall. She wanted to die and was tired just like the poor tired ivy leaves. Try to sleep, said Sue. I have to paint an old miner. I'll call Burman up to be my model. Sue asked her to try to get some sleep. As she had to paint an old miner, she would call up their neighbor Burman to be a model for her. So till here we see it's a story about two friends who live together. Of them, one, Johnsy, has fallen very sick. She has got pneumonia. And instead of recovering, her mental condition has turned out to be very depressing. She is thinking pessimistically without, with all negative, negative thoughts of not recovering. She is not responding to the medicines because she has taken it in herself that she'll never recover and she'll die. She has basically latched her life with a ivy tree 
ivy creeper beside her window. She has thought that with every passing day, when the leaves are falling, she is also deteriorating, and with the last leaf that will fall from the ivy creeper, she'll die. She has no willingness to recover. No motivation has any effect on her. And in the very next videos, we'll see what her friend and flatmate Sue does to recover her friend Johnsy from this very bad health condition. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.